Hello everyone, today we're looking at the Aoshima Silvia S13 91. Um, this comes with the SR20 DET uh, engine in there. Um, it also comes with, I'll show you on that, spring suspension. So yeah, let's take a look what is in the box then. Um, I got this second hand, um, so it's not exactly as you'd find it um, when you buy it, but uh, right, as this is the first sprue, we'll get this out of the way. Well, something um, has been taken off this, um, but you know, I'll, uh, there's the brake discs, very chrome. You have one wheel, um, I'll show you that up against the body um, in a little bit. And talking of real suspension, there's your springs. I don't think they actually compress like real suspension, but they're just there for the, the look. Clear parts, uh, just one clear part in that particular one is your windows. Now this is a little bit of a mess in here really, um, but most of it's been opened already. Yeah. This, you've got a couple of suspension bits in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, what exactly do we have? We've got the suspension struts, uh, window wipers, uh, do, 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 do other suspension bits, or you know, chassis bits. And then you've got two grills. What are these? They look ah, ones with fogs. Uh, there's the ones with fog lights, and then there's the other ones. Very slapdash, this video might be, um, with the fact that stuff. Um, I don't know, actually, it's all um, it, the rest of it is in, in bags, which is nice. Instructions will be in the description as always guys, um, and if they're not in the description I can't get a hold of them unfortunately. Decals are on the screen right now. Uh, you've got the uh, unlucky for some possibly 13 number plate. Um, decals for the wheels as well. Yeah, you've got um, you know just the usual sort of decals, nothing major, but yeah. Right, let's show you the body, which seems to have a few little parts in it. There's a part in there as well. There's a poly cap in there. Ooh. All right, here's your body. Um, and you'll notice that you've got this thing here, um, which will need to be cut out. Um, but as you're working on the body, it's always best to, um, to sort of keep it in there, just for structural rigidity. Uh, we've got wheels flying all over the place now. Get these wheels out of the way first. Uh, a little bit of flash on the tyres, but I'll get to that. Right, chassis. There's your chassis, just run of the mill. Um, you'll notice that there's a big. Uh, I don't know what the camera's doing now. Uh, there we go. There's a big block there. Um, I'll get to that in a minute regarding the um, engine. Um, on this, here's your body, um, and a lot of Aoshima kits come with different body kits. I've got a Vertex S13 that I'm going to do after this, um, and that should confirm to me that that's basically the same body. You just, of course, um, get different bumpers. And I've just been on the phone to get my camera sorted for the focusing issue, so hopefully that should rectify any all this rubbish that goes on. But I won't be able to do videos for a little bit, but never mind. Bumper. Um, there is one thing to note about this. Um, I don't know, it's, easy, oh, it's pretty easy to show you on the body. It's very see-through. Very thin plastic. And I know the camera's um, messing about. I'll just do it myself. So, yeah. And all the bumpers are like that as well. There's your front one. You literally see straight through it. And your rear, completely standard um, body. Um, you've got the spoiler as well, which is a bit, mm, but you don't have to put it on, of course. Next, uh, 
Next bag, we've got some, uh, ooh, this is open, uh, interior bits and your rear lights and indicators. Now, as always, uh, every Aoshima kit I've done at the minute have separate door cards, which is nice. It always makes it, um, the interior that a little bit easier when they do that. Uh, right, fully JDM yellow indicators. Red rears. Um, right, this is all interior stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what that, I'm not sure what uh, that little thing is. Um, but there's your interior. There's your rear seats. Um, center consoles moulded in, um, which is strange. They normally come um, separate. There's your door cards, dash, steering wheels, you get two of these, and then you know a plates and just the window wipers. Uh, right, next bag, next bag we have the engine. Now I have actually looked at this before. Um, just to see exactly what we're looking at. Now, if you remember, I'll just refresh your memory with the chassis. You've got a big block there. You know, it's not sort of see-through like um, a Tamiya R32. Video will be up soon of that as well. Um, which is a shame really because this, there's your interior now, uh, interior, uh, engine bay. Uh, now that's not exactly a bad thing, however that the upside of that is it's probably easier to swap it into another car. Um, you've got the battery moulded in, um, a few other little bits, top mounts are very detailed as well. Um, there's your valve cover, radiator fan, um, pipes etc. Uh, you've got the block inlet plenum. Loads of other little bits. I haven't actually built one of these. So, you know, I can't exactly comment and say, oh, the engine's amazing or it's rubbish. I don't know. But as soon as I do start building this, there will be a video, of course. And there's your manifold, etc. Uh, then we've got two little, uh, two little bags left now. Um, this one comes with the bonnet, seats and clear parts. And your seats. It's got a bit tangled up here. There we go. Seats. Uh, now they are really not. Ooh, I spoke too soon. Nicely detailed, in two parts. But um, I'm dropping it. The rears are sort of hollow, and you've got the mould marking as well. Um, and there doesn't appear to be back instant. No. Um, clear parts. Uh, what do we have here? You've got the rear lights, front lights of course. Um, two options of the front lights, you can go with the projectors um, or just the normal ones. You can go fully JDM and go red and yellow with the rears or you can go clear and do whatever you want. And then you've got the front clearers as well. Bonnet, just a standard bonnet. Still see through, you can just see there, look, left finger, and then standard mirrors. Um, and then the last bit, uh, there's not even any point in taking this out really. Um, all you've got in here um, chrome mirrors, which are nice, um, and then your headlight backings as well. You don't have to do them chrome, you can go black or whatever, and then your exhaust. Uh, and then last but not least, I'll show you the wheels up against the body. And there you have it. Um, 
What would I give this kit out of 10? Um, I'm probably going to say um, it's one of those kits that you sort of buy for the engine, I suppose. Um, and Or unless you do like your S13s. Either way, it's um, it's a brilliant kit, you know, can't fault it. A um, couple of things to mention, like I said, the whole, or the, sorry, the lack of, it's not exactly full engine detail. Um, but you know, it's nothing that can't be altered, cut and sanded and putted as I always say. Um, and the other thing is the fact that the plastic is so thin. Um, I've never been able to see my finger through a body before, but um, I mean it seems pretty solid, but you know, either way it's not not great. There is mould lines on there. Um, but they are they are on the um, bonnet lines and boot lines, so it's all good. But yeah, um, definitely recommend the kit. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, you can always use it um, just for the engine, then just keep the bonnet over the top. You'd never know. Um, so yeah, definitely a really nice kit there. Highly recommended. Um, yeah, thanks for taking a look, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Bye bye.